So, I wanted to go over Apologia's Young Explorer series, Exploring Creation with Astronomy. This is by um, Jean or Jeannie Fulbright. <clears throat> there are a total of seven books in this uh, Young, Young Explorer series. You can buy these at Apologia.com. I believe that they're $40 a piece. I believe they're either 30 or 40 but um, I bought mine used on eBay. It's a hard, it's a hardback cover, <coughs> and um, <coughs> anyway, so I I already done a video showing you what we're going to be using for our science next year, and part like the first five lessons in our science book are going to be over astronomy, and um, my friend let me borrow her book just like this. And I liked it a lot, so I decided to go ahead and get mine, and we will um, use this too. So, okay, yeah, it's by Jeannie Fulbright. So this one's copyrighted 2004. Then they give you a need help page here. Um, gives you some information about where to go if you need some some help. Also. Sorry. Okay. So here's an introduction. It talks about um, that I guess they believe in like the immersion approach. They believe that children learn best um, when they're taught, you know, even at young ages, more of an in-depth study um, on one particular like field of science. Here's some more information. Lesson increment section, some narrations, and some notebooking sections, and Latin root word section. Uh, <coughs> they give you a password to go on their on their website to um, you know get some ad additional information to go with this book talks about projects and experiments and why, you know, they're important to do, just like the, the narrations and the notebooks. They believe that's important to do also. And also, what's really nice is also, also at the beginning, they give you a list of all the items that you need to complete each lesson. So, here are the things you need for lesson one, and here's for lesson three, and, you know, two, and so on. And there are 14 lessons in this book. Okay. So here are the lessons. Lesson one talks about what is astronomy. So some of the things it discusses is why did God create the universe? It talks about the calendar, God's signs, the stars and planets, solar system. I'm not going to go through all these. But anyway, it talks about this. Then there's lesson two is the sun. Then Mercury. Lesson four on Venus. Five is on Earth. Six is on the moon. Seven is about Mars. Eight is about space rocks. And then you have Jupiter. Ten is on Saturn. Eleven is on Uranus and Neptune. Twelve is on Pluto and the Kuiper Belt. Thirteen is over galaxies and stars. And fourteen is space travel. So here's lesson one. What is astronomy? Here's just what the pages look like here. They give some pretty nice pictures in here. Some of the pictures are real photographs, some of them are drawings, and some of them are just um, depictions of what, you know, a particular artist thinks something may look like. Okay. Okay. So, this page here is the end of the reading of Lesson 1. And now, um, Here's the, like a little question, some questions here to ask, and your child is supposed to kind of like narrate back to you, um, kind of what they learned, what lesson one was about, and then um, here's what they need to do in their notebook. Here's an assignment, and then a project, some instructions for it, and then lesson two is over the sun. So, you know, there are 14 lessons, but at the beginning of the book. And, you know, up here, where it kind of tells, talks to the teacher. 
it mentions how, um, you know, it's kind of geared more to, like, spend one lesson for two weeks. So, um, and then there's two lessons in here that they think might even need to take longer than two weeks. So you could actually use this book for, like, the full year. You know, if you were to do le to do science, like, twice a week. Okay. But, um, I was just wanting to show you, kind of through this video, kind of, um, what the inside of the book looks like. Because when I was, after I saw my friends, she let me see her book, and I really liked it. But I wanted to find out what other people thought of it as well. So I got on YouTube, and I looked... Sorry about that. So, like I was saying, um, I got on YouTube and I was trying to find a video about this book. I was hoping to see what other people thought of it and how they used it and things like that. And I couldn't find any videos. So, I mean, I typed in, you know, what it says here, Exploring Creation with Astronomy, and I couldn't find any videos. Nothing pulled up. So... I thought I'd just go ahead and give it a chance, and so I bought it, and I thought I would do a video for those of you that would like to see the inside, you know, but you can't find a video either, I guess you'll find mine now. Um, you know, so like I said, after each chapter, you know, there's quite a bit of reading, um, and then there's, you know, what do you remember section, an assignment, an activity, and a project to make. And this one here, you know, talks about Venus, and one of the projects is let's make some lava, atmosphere. This one talks about Venus and Earth, that they are not twins. Um, this one here, the project over Venus, learn how radar, learn how radar is used. There's Earth. Anyway, I'm just going to flip through this. Also, also available from Apologia, they make actual notebooks that match this book exactly that you could buy as well. Um, I believe, I'm not sure how much they are, I believe they're $30 maybe, but uh, RainbowResource.com also sells them as well. But they make um, a regular notebook for students, and then they also make one that's just like it, that's called Junior, a junior notebook. It's for younger kids that may not write as much, may like more coloring or stuff like that. So. And this one here, this project is Build Olympus Mons, I guess. There's Space Rocks. For those of you that do not want, um, you know, a God-created-everything science, um, then this is not for you. Not at all. They, um, it, it's very heavily, um, showing you, you know, that God created everything, um, how everything works, you know, by His power, His will, so... If you don't want that, then this is not for you. Okay, now I'm just flipping a few pages at a time. I thought this one was neat, Gospel in the Stars. Um, it kind of mentions that some people long ago they thought that, you know, all these different little pictures that people create by, you know, dot to dot on the stars, they think that um, it told the story of the coming Messiah. And uh, I haven't finished reading all, all of this section yet, but I thought it was interesting. Okay, so these Young Explorer series, I should have mentioned this at the first part of the video, but the Young Explorer series, 
it said that they are geared towards ages 6 through 12. Um, like I said, there are seven books. You can use them in any order, it said. But it did say that the astronomy is the... If you're going to start with one, you should probably start with facts. But it, they said it is the easiest one. And I believe the human anatomy and physiology was the hardest one. But, um... Anyway. So, in the back, they give you some answers to the narrative questions. And that's what these type pages are. I can turn it. Okay. And here's an index in the back. So. And that is that.